We have Trent Lawson, which we usually see in Oklahoma City. I know the guy's everywhere because we do a lot of events in Oklahoma City, and uh, Trent's at every one of them. So what brings you to Tulsa this time? Uh, this time I have work here, and I have a job with OVAC, so I was actually in charge of installing this show. So I had more responsibility than usual. But Well, you're always wearing a few hats. I know that. Well, what were some of the challenges, uh, for instance, in, in getting it set up? Uh, well, uh, one thing was we had a lot of work. I think there was like 93 pieces that are in the show in, the, in these two spaces. And, you know, and there's always, with momentum, there's such variety of work that we get in. Installation, film, performance, anything and everything. So finding room to accommodate all that can be challenging so that each gets their own credit and due and not one's overpowering anything else. If there's someone out there listening that is an artist and would like to be in the next show, what is the process that they go through to get in? Um, well, with Momentum, we jury by actual work, so it's really just get your artwork presentable, ready to hang, finished. Um, presentation is important. Um, it can be make or break sometimes with getting in a show. And our next, we're going to have Momentum in January in Oklahoma City, and so usually our deadline's about mid-December. And then we'll be in Tulsa again next summer and, and around June. So, like all, all kind of call for entries and grants and stuff, you can find through the OVAC website, uh, which is ovac-ok.org. Or, you know, you can find us on MySpace. There's a Momentum Tulsa and a Momentum OKC MySpace. So, that's, that's another thing that makes Tulsa like a Momentum you know, different is that there is a wide variety, anything and everything. The only restriction we put on you is an Oklahoma artist age 30 and younger. Okay, well I have two new pieces that I just did just uh, right before this show. Uh, one of them is in this space, uh, Family Portrait Number 5, and with that one I started it about a year or two ago, kind of this little mini-series, where I went to a show and I saw like a boat canvas and I'm like, I'm going to make one on purpose. So I soak the wood in water and like I bowed the canvas in on both sides and so it's like an hourglass shape and it ended up being kind of this quirky kind of portrait and so I've since done this is the fifth one I've done one that was bowed out and then three that were bowed in and this is the fifth one in the series using kind of the same of like a you know like a caricature portrait and same color scheme and then the other piece that I have in the other studio is uh, well, it's interactive. It's a little different. Uh, first one I've done like this, where it's it's like one of those old tile games with a missing square. That like there's a, and so you can rearrange it, to, so it's like a little puzzle. And so you can just take the tiles and move them left and right and up and down. Yeah, that it's interactive. Um, put your hand on it, and just slide them up, and you know I should have it sealed enough that it shouldn't hurt it. Um, and so and like then I have my composition that I did it together and then you can rearrange it and it just becomes its own abstract and the way things interact so it's pretty fun. What's the name of the band? Stevador. Who came up with the name? I am a new member. It is uh, Jeff. Yes, uh, I came up with the name. It's an occupation. It's a union job. Dock worker. That's Stevador. Wow. Working class. Yeah, you, you, might, uh, you might be more familiar with the old school term longshoresman. I am familiar with that. Well, there you have it. So, tell us a little bit about uh, how you happened to show up at the Momentum Show. Uh, well, we played last year, so um, they asked us to come back again this year, and uh, this is a much better festival this year than, than last year. I mean, it's just the weather's perfect. Being half outdoors, half indoors is excellent. Yeah, thumbs up. Um, it's very synth pop. Uh, take a racer and Depeche Mode and mix them together. And it has nothing to do with Stevedore. Well, there really weren't a lot of challenges. I mean, he played a few shows with us when we needed him to fill in. And, um, I mean, he just kind of jumped in with both feet and figured out everything he needed to figure out. And so after those three shows, we just asked him to become a permanent member. And so he's played the last six shows with us, and it's just been super smooth. Yeah, we play in Tulsa. We're big supporters of Tulsa. We're from here. We're moving. We're moving out. We're trying to moving out out of the Tulsa area. Um, I think out of Oklahoma needs to experience Stevedore. So yeah, we're we're hitting the road, starting to hit the road a lot more. We're still based in Tulsa. A lot of the good bands in Tulsa get good and get out, and uh, and don't ever come back 
at all. We're, we're not trying to do that. We're trying to play out all around the country, or, or outside of the country even. But uh, but we're staying based in Tulsa because we like we like Tulsa. We enjoy people coming on stage, the whole set, the whole set, coming on stage and dancing and singing with us. To ask this guy. Anyone that enjoys dancing. I mean that's that's about it. Um, if you like going out and seeing a band and that likes dancing, come out and see Stevedore. Yeah, we also yeah. we also get a lot of uh, indie rock kids that come out. Indie rock, uh, punk rock kids get a kick out of it because there's a lot of humor involved. We don't take ourselves too seriously. Um, we just try and write some good songs and have fun with it, help promote the scene. Well, uh, I saw uh, I saw the Momentum show several years ago, and I got involved several years ago. Um, and I've, I've submitted art in uh, the Momentum also last year, and in the last two Momentum Oklahoma cities. And how many works did you get in this time? Uh, three. Oh, two okay. installations and one photograph. Okay. And describe the installations for us. Uh, I have one that is a uh, digital picture frame where uh, it has a punching bag next to it, and you hit the punching bag and it flips through pictures. I, uh, I call it uh, uh, fight for Tulsa. It has pictures of Tulsa, so you kind of punch the punching bag and you see different pictures of Tulsa. Well, you had to get the whole thing inside the punching bag and make the punching bag look like it's normal, so it was real hard to get the electronics inside the punching bag and then make it look normal again and feel normal. Well, I had to learn how to uh, put a accelerometer inside of it and with a transmitter that transmits back to a computer. Well, for those of us that don't know what an accelerometer is, uh, it, describe that just for a second. It's just a de little device that registers a G-force, like the amount of gravity. So when you hit it, it registers a number relating to how hard you hit it. Okay. They can hit it pretty hard, just not, uh, not really, really, really hard. Okay. They can smack it pretty good, though. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's something we all strive to be. You know, even if we don't do it as a career, you know, uh, it's something that's uh, good to be involved in. You know, even if you have a normal job, it's still good to, on the side, you know, make art and, uh, you know, give it kind of a kind of a professional hobby. Uh, yeah, I've got some robotic uh, video screen uh, installations I'm going to work on in the next few months. Uh, so we'll be looking forward to that then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.